Katanas, legendary weapons revered by weebs and bored dads everywhere. I've covered a lot of expensive swords on this channel, but if you've spent all your money on anime figures and titty mouse pads, you're gonna need a sword that won't break the bank. So today I'm reviewing the affordable entry-level anime swords from Mini Katana. This one's for all you weebs out there. So I've received an ungodly amount of comments asking me to review the swords from Mini Katana. They specialize in anime sword replicas, and they offer both dull, cosplay-friendly versions, as well as battle-ready, sharpened versions of most anime swords. They have a massive online presence, so I reached out asking for some review samples. Turns out, they're actually huge fans of the channel and offer to sponsor this video. So yes, this video is sponsored by Mini Katana, but you guys don't have to worry. You know, I'm gonna tell like it is no matter who's sponsoring, and they know I'm gonna be brutally honest. For today's video, I'm reviewing battle-ready versions of Tanjiro's new katana from Demon Slayer and Zoro's sword Enma from One Piece. They both have full tang 1045 sharpened high carbon steel blades that are hand-painted, giving them a unique look to match the anime. They come with screen-accurate supas cast out of metal and are priced just under 200 bucks. Now, before we take a closer look at these swords, I wanna explain a few things. 200 bucks is not a lot of money when we're talking about swords. For 200 bucks, we're talking bare minimum, entry level, starting class, level one type shit. And if you don't know what you're buying, you're gonna have a bad time. And the nice thing about these practice katanas, oh, oh, that hurt. So if you've only got 200 bucks to spend on a sword, you got two options. You either go for aesthetics or you go for practicality. At this price point, you can't have both. Meaning you either get the cheapest entry level practical katana meant for training and cutting like a Musashi, which will generally look very plain and dull, kind of like something you'd see in the manager's office of a PF Chang's. Or you don't actually plan on training with it and you just want something cool to impress the ladies in case they ever come over. And in that case, you're gonna want something visually striking or recognizable. And Mini Katana is great for that sort of thing. Cause let's be honest, 99.9% .9 of you watching this video right now will never cut a tatami mat in your life. All right, now let's take a closer look at these things. First up, we have the Demon Slayer Sword. It has a faux leather battle wrapped handle with fake ray skin, which is to be expected at this price. The handle wrapping is surprisingly well done. It's not super tight, but the diamonds are clean and consistent. Overall, nice looking handle for this price point. It's got this really cool flame suba. It's unique and I think it looks pretty sweet. The caps on the sword and saya seem to be made of some sort of metal that's painted a metallic color, which I'm not really a fan of. They're definitely trying to make it as accurate as possible to the anime, hence the lack of Kurigata and Sageo. So it's kind of hard to knock them for that. The Enma Katana has a very unusual handle, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's also very purple, which I like. I also really dig the caps on this one. They have a weathered kind of gold plated look. All right, let's take a look at these blades. So both of these swords have hand painted blades. I was told that these have five coats of a special kind of heavy duty paint to ensure they don't peel or strip from cutting. Now, while this definitely gives the blades a unique look, all the added mass of all those layers of paint 
make the blades quite dull. You can tell that the blades are sharpened, but you can also tell that they were way sharper before they added the paint. Normally I'd want all my swords to be razor sharp, but I'm actually kind of glad that these aren't. Because the type of person who's going to be buying these anime replicas, it's generally going to be probably untrained, probably on the younger side, and uh, this is gonna reduce the chance of accidents happening. Oh, that hurt big time. Plus, the painted blade means you don't have to oil it, and you don't have to worry about touching it with your grubby little Cheeto fingers. With that said, Mini Katana sells plenty of swords without painted blades that are much sharper. This is just a heads up for you guys if you're looking to buy one of the painted blades, uh, they're going to be very dull. Overall, I think the fittings are pretty solid. They're nothing spectacular, but for the price, you get a lot of visual bang for your buck. And they don't feel cheap and crappy in your hands. All right, well, we all know why you guys are here. You want to know if these babies can cut. Well, we're about to find out. All right, so we're gonna see how these babies cut. We're gonna start with the Tanjiro sword because it is my favorite of the two. Uh, I will say the blade is very tip heavy. I'm noticing in terms of balance. Uh, I think it's because there's so much paint on the blade. It looks really sweet, but it does add weight to the end. It feels like there's a lot of extra weight on the end of the blade. Uh, so it's kind of a trade-off. You don't have to oil it as much, and you don't have to worry about touching with your fingers because it's painted over the high carbon steel. But the extra weight definitely makes it a little off balance. Also, the paint on the blade makes it fatter, meaning that the edge itself is definitely way less sharp than the sword originally was. But that's okay, you know. It's an anime sword, it's not meant for uh, it's not meant for battle, it's more for looks. But let's see if it can uh, do the damn thing. All right. Let's see how this cuts. It's not a very sharp sword, so we'll see. The power of anime in Christ is not on your side today. <laughs> yeah. I'm making it about halfway through. So I can tell the sword was sharp before they painted the blade, but now because there's so much paint on it, it's quite dull. So uh, I'll try my best. <sighs> Almost. <sighs> that was close. Okay, that was better. So we can make it through the target. You're gonna really, really have to try though. All right, so uh, the Tanjiro sword can make it through the target. You really gotta swing for the fences though, since the sword is uh, extremely dull just because of the paint. Uh, it is a cool looking sword. Uh, if you wanna cut tatami mats, uh, there are other options I think you could get that will do that better, but they won't look nearly as sweet as this sword. All right, now on to the Zoro sword. Uh, this sword is very similar to that one. <laughs> uh, it's basically just the sharp. It is quite dull. Keep in mind, I'm using these swords in a way they're not meant to be used. I'm used to very sharp swords, so uh, I normally don't have to work this hard to make it through the mat. <laughs> it's humbling, that's what it is. Oh, that's what I'll say, it's a humbling experience. Almost. Damn. All right, let's try this again. Oh. Okay, that was better. So it seems like it's a, a mixture of my edge alignment not being on and uh, the sword just being kind of dull so that if you're like even slightly off with your edge alignment, you're gonna have a bad time.
Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. All right, so the Zoro Sword did significantly better than the Tanjiro Sword. I think they're both about the same sharpness. Uh, the handle is a little nicer on the Zoro Sword, so it's a little easier to get a nice grip. Again, if your edge alignment is slightly off with these swords because they are so dull, uh, they're gonna be very unforgiving. Um, so you gotta be really on it with your edge alignment and really on it with your follow through. I will say something very really interesting is that this sword is actually getting sharper as I cut with it. So the paint is fine. None of it has come off, which is really impressive, actually. What seems to be happening is as I'm cutting through it, it's kind of like pressing the paint down, but it's actually sharper here significantly compared to the rest of the sword. At that, it's actually very anime. A sword that gets sharper as the more you use it. Yeah, I'm interested to cut with this more and see how sharp it gets before the paint actually starts coming off the blade. I like the sword. Uh, it is obviously not meant for cutting tatami mats, but you can get the job done. Just requires some practice and a, and a lot of force. So which one do you like better overall, if you had to pick one? Oh man, uh, I definitely like the way the Tanjiro sword looks. This is definitely my style, uh, my aesthetic. But uh, I don't know, the Zoro sword feels much nicer in my hands. It's got a really thin handle, which I like, and it cut the mat better. Plus I like the flames on the blade. So originally I was a Tanjiro boy, now I'm a Zoro boy. Plus it's purple, so. Plus it's purple. It's purple, it's got all these balls on it. <laughs> I got so many black swords. Purple. Now while these swords can cut, they by no means were meant to be trained with. They can get the job done, but they're far too dull and improperly balanced to be used for Tamashigiri or Iaido in any serious capacity. But that's fine, because these swords are clearly made for display. Their cutting abilities come second to their aesthetics. So I'm gonna give these mini katana swords three and a half titty mouse pads out of five. They lose a few points for dullness and terrible balance, but make up for it in unique fittings and affordable price point. These swords are clearly fashion over function, and if you're buying one of them, it's because you love the anime. So if you're a fan of anime and are looking for a cool sword to hang on your wall to show your friends, Mini Katana is a great option. They're affordable, they come in plenty of different styles, and in a pinch, they can be used to chop some shit up in your backyard safely. And if you're looking for something a little more serious, Mini Katana just released a brand new line of swords meant for Tamashigiri. These have 1095 high carbon steel blades meant for cutting. I'll have links to all the swords down in the description. Huge thanks to Mini Katana for supporting the channel. They make all sorts of cool anime themed products from letter openers to pens, as well as a huge selection of swords. They make great gifts for that special weave in your life, so go check them out. But be sure to use my affiliate code ARMS, A-R-M-S, at checkout to get 15% off. It's a great way of supporting the channel because these videos take so goddamn long to make. But don't worry, I'm not gonna make you guys wait too long for the next video. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep